Did you know that black newborns who have a white physician are twice as likely to die as black babies who have a black physician? Did you know that black people are 2.4 more times likely to die from COVID-19? Did you know that black patients admitting to nursing homes have a 63% greater chance of being untreated for pain? Did you know that black Americans have decreased access to primary care and mental health services compared to whites? Did you know the average life expectancy for black men is less than four years that of white men? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Did you know that over 40% of medical students in a 2016 survey believe that black people have thicker skin than white people? Did you know that 83% of second year medical students believe that white people were less genetically susceptible to heart disease than black people? Anti-racism can be defined as some form of focused and sustained action. If this winds up as just a series of lectures to check a box, then I think we failed. Um, and that's where the ideas like journaling uh, and facilitated discussion come in. We really want the faculty and the students to engage with each other. We want them to embrace the discomfort of difficult conversations around race. Before we can act, we must get the facts. Through this course, we will examine our history. We will train ourselves to recognize our unconscious biases. We will learn from community organizers how to effectively advocate for change. We will leverage our research to result in practice and policy change. In the words of Angela Davis, I'm no longer accepting. I'm no longer accepting. I'm no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm changing the things that I cannot accept.